<laughs> well, we're heading to the uh, the epicenter of the psychedelic arts in central Pennsylvania. <laughs> there it is, the cube next to SNA Homes TM. <sighs> so the studio is in that giant square. <laughs> strange. I know when people have like seen us live and come up to talk to us afterwards they're always like they're like wow like that's like completely different I've never seen anything like that that's like so cool I think it, we offer a pretty unique experience and a unique type of music I bring this out at one special point within within our set it's the uh, <laughs> the analog clown horn um, and we kind of immerse ourselves in that narrative with with our attire and with the uh, you know the the storytelling through this machine. But, but something, you got, you got to try and bring the audience into it. So, so there's a point where I'm playing a sample and, and I like to take this thing around and, you know, you go... And, and everyone who's in the front row, I give them the opportunity to honk the, the clown horn. So it makes them feel like they're a part of the set. Um, I don't necessarily know if we fit in any one specific genre. I mean, the one that we typically tell people is psychedelic rock, which I think is a very good... You know, if, if you have to distill it down to one label, I think that's probably one of the best labels you, you could have for it. I don't know of any other bands, at least like in State College, that have a setup like ours. A lot of bands uh, are not as synthesizer focused as we are. This type of percussion is unique. Obviously we gotta wear spacesuits. If we're gonna be theatrical and perform, we have to address the parts. And so uh, then when we're on stage, when people see the spacesuits, it's not like they're looking at us, they're looking at the art cohesively. We're kind of like a brand or like an expectation that um, our followers see that each time and like they make a like connection I think makes us pretty recognizable in like how we present ourselves. It's, it's almost not even a choice. It's just who I am and what I do. The end goal might just be to make timeless music and hopefully have something that we all leave behind when we're passed away or whatever that we can be proud of and share with other people and make them feel a slice of the times that we lived in. For me it's just like a really fun thing to do in, in my spare time. Like I really enjoy getting together with the rest of the band. It is exciting when a song is finally finished to be able to like share that file with like a friend or someone or just like sh show other people. Yeah, it, it feels cool to have like a like look, it's a thing that we did. What do you think? I don't know. I like sharing things. You know, it all comes down to not being afraid to, to make to make psychedelic sounds. I just make it because it's fun. Yeah. As, as long as we're pushing ourselves creatively and enjoying ourselves writing and playing stuff that we like, that is a form of success. The times that I felt the most alive in my life were up on a stage performing for, for people, whether it's at a house show for two dozen people or, you know, at, at a stage of my high school performing for all of my friends and in, the, in the school and hundred plus people.